Hello, welcome to Scrap Time. My name is Christine and in this video I'm going to be showing you a few of my favorite things for the month of July. And I'm starting with the Dina Wakely Media acrylic paints. Now I like these for a few reasons. They come in about 36 colors or something like that, um, which is great because it just gives you sort of a nice palette to work from. The other thing I like is that there are some like soft colors, medium colors, and dark colors within a color family. There's different uh, metallics available. And then I, her color palette, sort of the colors I like, I like the brighter oranges, uh, the turquoise, pinks, blues, stuff like that. So that's for the color, but I also like them. It's great because they come in small sizes. So if you don't paint a lot, um, you're not wasting a lot of paint and then it's a lower price point. I paint a bit more, but a lot of times I only want a bit. And so I like these paints because it has that really small nozzle that when I'm painting, I can squirt out just a tiny bit of paint and I'm not wasting paint. Whereas with some of the other ones, it has quite a large nozzle and every time you try to squirt out a little, you end up with too much paint, more than you need. So I like that it, you can just get that tiny bit of paint out at a time. I'm going to talk about the products, then I'm going to show you the samples I made. So next up is um, Archival Ink. This, the Jet Black Archival Ink is the ink I use for everything. Um, it will, it's oil-based, so it will go over acrylic paints without smudging. It will be, uh, it will dry on acrylic paint. So a lot of your dye inks, you cannot paint over plastics or acrylic paints. So that is what I love about Archival Ink. I use it for all my stamping. Black is my favorite color, but I do have it in other colors as well. Then I've been loving my station, the mini station, because I can use it in my art journal, which is what I will be showing you. Um, it's nice and small. It comes with the magnets. I don't usually use the magnets. I just want that nice hard surface to go in my art journal so I can stamp um, even if my journal's all bumpy. And then the two stamp sets I've been using a lot is uh, Fragments. It's just these nice textures and then faded type with all the different type. So I'm going to show you some samples where I've used basically these products all together. I'm going to just start with a few tags. I'll lay them out. And so this is using, I use the paint to make the tags. And you can see I actually make these tags after, um, with my excess paint, after I've done some art journaling. So I have tags left over and I just put the colors on as I use them. And then just adding that little bit of uh, stamping, just starts off. So these tags aren't complete, but you can just see um, how the stamps are incorporated in there. So now I'm going to move to my art journal. And so this is where I've been using the paints. And because these paints are actually heavy body, you can layer them. And you might see a bit of the color underneath, but they're not um, blending in like a softer paint would. So I really like that I can just layer the paints on top of one another. And then on this side here, um, what I use this side for is after I finish painting my lines, I just clean off my brush on this side of the page. And then I've been just stamping with uh, those two stamp sets. So this is when my station comes in handy. I can shove it in like this to stamp other images on here, especially as we go through the book. So again, I have some stamping in here with the different types. Now I've been mixing um, Dina's paints with a bit of the other paints uh, that I have just because of certain colors I'd wanted to use. But the other good thing about Dina's paints is that they don't have like that same heavy plastic feel as some acrylic paints do. And so your pages won't stick as much when you use Dina's paints. Because if you ever work in an art journal, you know how your pages will stick together. And again, just some of the stamping added to the pages, just for some texture. And down here. 
And you can see how the black archival will go over everything. So a couple of my pages here are sticky, but it's probably because I've used some other paints and not just Dina's paints. So I think there's a couple more. Oh, I think that was the last page with that. Now the one other thing I want to show you. So here again, I'll show you how like you go through the book by there now I have that nice solid image or the solid base so that's why I love that so the one other thing I want to show you is just with the archival ink a technique you can do I'll use my station as a base and I'll just there's a stamp So sometimes you don't want a super dark image. So I just want to show you that with the archival, you can do this with any ink. I'm just showing you with the archival. Instead of pounding your ink on, if you swipe, oops, the stamp doesn't want to stick. If you swipe your ink on, let's use my fingers. So if you swipe it on instead of pounding it on, you will get um, a softer image. And then versus when I ink it up like this. So if you're going for like a softer, subtle look, sometimes you don't want that really stark black. If you just use your ink pad and swipe it over your ink, you'll get um, a softer image versus a nice crisp black image if you pound your ink. So those are a few of my favorite things for the month of July. We have Dina's Paints, The Station, Black Archival Ink, and a couple of great stamp sets. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to Scrap Time Videos on YouTube. In the meantime, here are a couple other videos you might be interested in watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.